Here we have two 5 ampere M18 Milwaukee batteries. And we test the voltage in the first one. It's 2.54 volts. And battery number two is at 19.87 volts. Uh, this battery is brand new. This is looks like it should be new. But at this stage it's basically a paperweight. So with that in mind, I'm going to do the thing that I don't like usually doing. Is the jump start method. Is getting a powerful battery like that and connecting it to that to bring the voltage up to see if you can get it to charge. So I'm going to attempt that now. Right here goes nothing. I'm wearing a pair of gloves because these wires can get very warm. If you, oh, is this is spark. That's sparking because that's very, very low voltage and the power going through that will be very high. And sometimes those wires are under a lot of strain as well. But at least if you see a spark, something's happened. So I'll leave that on for a wee while, not too long. It has been on for a few seconds now. I'm going to remove it because the smell of wire is starting to get warm, you know. So I'm going to remove that. Now I'm going to retest the voltage of this battery. That's brought the voltage up to 1596 or so. Don't like the way the voltage is dropping. That might mean, mean that some of the cells has been fried by that process, which I found to happen before. Um, I could try it in the charger, but I don't think it's going to be successful. I don't think it's going to, I'll try it anyway. I'm going to try this battery in the charger to see if it starts to charge. There's something happening there. So I'll leave that a few moments to see what's going to happen. I'll come back to this in a minute. Good news is this battery appears to be charging. It's got up a length of one bar, so I'll have to leave it a few minutes. These fast chargers are fairly quick, so it shouldn't take that long, but I'll pause the video and then start recording whenever it's completed. Well, we'll see when it's up to two or three. I'll charge it all the way, just so you know the difference in the two batteries. That one was fully charged, the, the booster battery, so I'll not charge this the whole way, so you know I'm not messing about in this video. So I'll pause this video for a second here, and time will lapse. Right, I paused that a while, and we've got, as you can see, two bars now, so I'll let this charge away until it gets three bars. And pause the video. Once it gets three wires, I'm going to take it out of the charger and try it into this, this tool that I have here. So we finally got the three bars with this. So that is very, very encouraging. So I'll just remove this battery from the charger. As you can see, well, it's been down to two now. But anyway, I think I'll just test it with the meter now. Right, and we have a perfect voltage of 18 0.15 so that jump start method has worked perfectly I'm delighted to say we've turned what was effectively an expensive Milwaukee paperweight into a reusable battery again I'm going to try it in the tool just to make sure yeah so if anybody tells you the jump start method is a myth they're wrong it's not always the best option. I would suggest that you would test the voltage of the battery to see if it is low first of all. Because if you have full if you have full voltage and you have a failed chip, the boost start ain't gonna do anything for you. It's only really for bringing up the voltage. So with the chip inside the battery, the technology inside the charger recognizes that it's there to charge. So if you like that video, please subscribe and check out my other content. Thank you.